Hey guys, this is Sharon from This Is Us. So I thought I should switch things up on my YouTube channel and possibly start doing reviews because I love watching reviews. And maybe what I have to say will be useful to some of you guys if you're looking for a certain product and want to know what other people have to say about it. Uh, I could be of use, or this video could be of use to you. So today I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna be talking about Flo Mars Deluxe Cashmere Lipstick. Now I don't know how long these have been out, but the last time I bought a Flomar lipstick, it was, uh, it wasn't such a good experience. I chose the wrong color, really, and I don't know, it, it didn't quite tickle my fancy. But when I saw these, I mean, isn't the packaging super cute? It sort of reminds me of the YSL, whoops, sorry. Um, it sort of reminds me of the YSL uh, lipsticks, which have like a see-through part here which sort of show you what color is in the tube so packaging I absolutely love what is a little frustrating is the fact that you can't see what color the lipstick is inside so for instance I I was lucky I just picked the first one the tester and opened it and saw what color it was and I thought that was so pretty um, but then for me to see what other colors there were I had to like open each one of the testers and then try and look for them behind there the number is dc27 which i mean I, I feel like they could have been a little bit more creative with their numbers with the with the names of the product um i'm on their website right now and all the others are like you know dc26 dc32 just a bunch of numbers which is a little safe but the lipstick color is so freaking beautiful um, and I'm gonna put it on my lips and see how long it lasts it doesn't claim to last for like 24 hours or 14 hours or whatever but it does say um, and this is from their website it says uh, it has an infusion of last generation moisture boosting complex that's what it, it claims to do moisturize your lips quite quite well it has shea butter and cocoa butter which I think you know what I think this website was written in another language and they I, I don't know why it doesn't sound right. So before I put it on, I have Baby Lips um, Lip Balm. What what flavor is this? What? It's uh, it's called Quenched Number no. Five, and I like it because it's really light. So it it doesn't like give your lips a lot of you know product, and then you have to put the lipstick on, and it might compromise how the lipstick wears through the day. But I do like to put a little lip balm before I put my lipsticks on. So. Wow. Okay. I don't know if the color on there is is really true to the actual color on on my lips and in the in the tube. It actually doesn't look like it is. On there it looks more like burgundy red, but in real life it's like a dark plum purple. So that's the lipstick on. I really love the consistency and I love how rich it is. It's, it looks so beautiful. Now I have, um, I'm trying to compare it to, the, to a color that's almost similar but not quite and it's the Revlon, I think it's called Plum or something. Um, and for that one, I always feel like I have to put it on, blot it and then put it on again so that the color really comes through. But this one, it's just one coat and I feel like it's enough. Anyway, it's supposed to moisturize your lips, keep them feeling lovely, which they do. It feels, it actually feels pretty creamy, pretty nice. Um, but let's see how it wears through. There's a good chance that as the day goes by, I'll probably have to put a little bit of lip balm on or maybe reapply it. I don't know. We'll just, we'll have to see. So as for the product, there is this much product inside, which is a little deceiving because it looks like you're going to have a lot more in there but that's um, that's all you have I have with me the only other Flomar lipstick I've ever bought which I bought maybe two years ago and this was the packaging which I mean if you compare seriously winning not so much so this was the other one which if you can see the gold hardware they have here is the same as the one uh, on the new tubes um, I think this has more lip product on there because this says it has 4.5 grams and this has, I can't remember where I read it, but it was three grams. I just don't, I can't see it here. But I think I read three grams for this one, which means you're getting less product. 
yeah yeah but you know the packaging is cute and if you are like me you will probably buy something because it just looks really pretty yeah oh and also in the store they probably had about six maybe seven different shades um, I saw like orangey kind of t colors to pinks and reds and dark purples and I know it's getting warmer and you probably should be like wearing light lipstick but you guys this is too cute to just leave for those days in the year when it's very cold so I'm I'm gonna be wearing it all year long okay so the time right now is is a uh, 11 45 I don't know if you can see that but it's 11 45 I'll keep giving you reviews throughout the day maybe in a couple hours or so just to see how it's wearing on me um, yeah see you soon okay so it's been about three hours 45 minutes it is now 3 27 and we started at 11 45 ish so about three hours 45 minutes and my lips for the most part still feel very moisturized I don't have as much product here around this area um, I did have lunch and I had a chopstick, an ice cream, so I guess it was bound to come off a little. It doesn't claim to wear for the entire day, but it does claim to be moisturizing. So as for how hydrated and moisturized my, feel, my lips feel, they still feel good where there's product, but around here, it would start to bug me. Like, I would need to put lip balm or more of this product, which I think is it's pretty good. So at the end of the day, I. I would definitely buy this lipstick again definitely I love how intense the color com comes off on your mouth even though again it really doesn't show how it looks on camera as as you know how, as how it looks in front of my mirror oh hey there you go <laughs> it goes for about 900 shillings 950 I think and I got it from Nakuma Junction, the Floma counter. So that's it for this review. I really hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will be back soon. Oh, and if you have any product that you'd like for me to talk about, just leave a comment below so I can I can know what to touch on or what not really to bother with. But I do have a, a couple of ideas of what I want to definitely be reviewing for you guys soon. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.